Let's also try to prove De Morgan's laws using a Venn diagram. So let's say these are two sets A and B within a universal set. Let's first try to show that A union B complement is A complement intersection B complement. So if we shade the set on the left hand side over here, A union B complement, that would be everything outside of both of these circles A and B. Now let's try to use another Venn diagram to pinpoint what the set on the right hand side is. A complement would be everything outside of the circle representing A. So there are two regions outside of the circle A. The first region is the region outside of both circles A and B and the second region is this green region over here which is outside of A but which is inside of the circle representing B. So regions 1 and 2 together make up the set A complement. Now we want to find out which part of the set A complement overlaps with the set B complement. So let's try to figure this out for both regions 1 and 2. Let's look at region 1. Does region 1 overlap with B complement? Yes, because it's outside of the circle B, so it overlaps with B complement. What about region 2? Region 2 is inside of the circle representing B. So there's no overlap between region 2 and B complement. So the only overlap between A complement and B complement is region 1. But note that region 1 is precisely what we shaded here as uh, using the color blue. This means these two sets are actually the same. Let's try to prove the other law. A intersection B complement is A complement union B complement. Again, we'll draw two Venn diagrams and we'll shade the regions corresponding to both of these sets in these two Venn diagrams. So let's look at the left hand side. A intersection B is this tiny region over here. A intersection B complement is everything outside of this black area. So everything outside of this black area is A intersection B complement. Now let's see if we get the same shading if we look at the set on the right hand side. What is A complement? A complement is the region outside of the circle representing A. So as we saw in the previous proof, this region can be divided into two subregions. Region 1 which is outside of both A and B and region 2 which is this particular crescent shaped region inside of B but excluding the region that overlaps with A. So region 1 and region 2 represent A complement. Now we have to add B complement or we have to take the union of these two regions with B complement. B complement is everything outside of the circle representing B. And again everything outside of B is found in two regions. The first is region 1. Region 1 is the region that's outside of both A and B so it's clearly outside of B. And the other is region 3 which is outside of B but which is inside of A. So B complement is made up of regions 1 and 3. A complement is made up of regions 1 and 2. So when we take the union of these two sets we're gonna get regions 1, 2 and 3. So regions 1, 2 and 3 will together make up this set A complement union B complement. And you can see that these three regions cover everything outside of this shaded region over here. This means that the set on the right hand side is actually the same as the set on the left hand side. So this proves the second of De Morgan's laws.